Hi, I'm Richard from Abe Books. These little orange books from Penguin can be found in bookshops all over the world. Penguin, founded in 1935, revolutionised marketing and publishing by producing these inexpensive soft covers with their instantly recognisable design. Orange is always going to be the most famous colour associated with Penguin, but did you know there's a whole spectrum of colours that Penguin used to distinguish its books? Orange was for fiction, green was for crime novels, and cerise, or pink if you will, was for travel and adventure. Dark blue was for biographies, red was for drama, and purple was for essays. Yellow was for miscellaneous titles like crosswords. There was also grey for world affairs. Of the first ten Penguin books published in 1935, six were orange, two were dark blue, and two were green. Now, you may ask, what about the light blue books? Light blue was the colour used by Pelican, an imprint or a division of Penguin dedicated to non-fiction. Penguin also issued Potomigan books devoted to puzzles and word games, and they came up with quite a distinct bloated bird on the cover. The other famous P associated with Penguin is Puffin Books, still going strong and one of the world's biggest publishers of children's books. Penguin also produced Peacock Books, which catered for young adult readers. And that famous Penguin striped cover design itself, did you know it was created by a 21-year-old office junior called Edward Young, who also came up with the main Penguin logo? And if you look carefully at a pile of penguins, you will notice the logo often varies from a plain penguin looking left, to a merry penguin dancing to the right, to a pair of penguins wing in wing also dancing. Oddly, there are also penguin books with a penguin looking to the left on the cover and then the right on the spine.